Hey everybody, I got an interesting video for you here tonight. This is off of CropCircleConnector.com and they had a story about the crop circle that appeared on the 26th of August at a place called Hackman Hill in Wiltshire, England. And this one really caught my eye. This three-dimensional cube-shaped one that showed up overnight on uh, late on the 25th or early on the 26th of August. And this website says this. We cannot physically manipulate the V-cube 6, that is the name of this crop circle, shown in the crops as we would for a normal cube to solve any kind of puzzle. Yet the crop artist has clearly presented us with a puzzle of some kind. It says Hackman Hill Crop Circle of August 26, 2012 shows V-cube 6, the 6x6x6 by six by six version of the Rubik's Cube that came from the 80s that... Um, all you old people like me remember pretty well. It says this. 20 of the 36 squares within each side of that 6 by 6 by 6 cube have been decorated with the square root of two triangles. If we multiply 20 by the square root of 2, we get 28.28, which could be a length of time and days. It says each 6 by 6 side of that V cube shows 36 squares. 20 of which have been decorated with the square root of two triangles. By simple mathematics, 20 times the square root of 2 equals 28.28. Could this be in days? Well, it says this. And this might be the source of this crop circle. At least uh, speculation, maybe, that the same people who gave the Mayans their knowledge are beaming this down to us or something says this, the Mayan calendar includes 20 days per month as a possible clue to the deeper nature of this puzzle. Thus its likely unit of time seems to be days rather than weeks, months, or years. Each of those three six by six sides as drawn in the crops has a different visual perspective, yet each can be translated and rotated on top of one another in the mind's eye to yield identical two-dimensional shapes. This further suggests that the mathematics of each, each side should be considered separately from that of any other side. In other words, its primary mathematical unit of time should be based on 20 decorated squares, one side only, rather than 40 or 60 decorated squares, two or three sides added together. In terms of calendar time, the new crop picture would have appeared close to midnight on the 25th of August 2012 in a field at Hackman Hill in southern England. If we count forward by 28 days, we reach the autumn equinox of September 22nd, 2012 at close to midnight. It says Hackman Hill crop circle appeared close to midnight on August 25th in England. So 28 days la later matches the autumn equinox of September 22nd at midnight or late afternoon in Central America. goes on to say this. On the autumn equinox, seven triangles of shadow and light will descend on the pyramid of Kukla Khan and Chichen Itza. Two previous crop circles at Devil's Den and Wappenbury on August 15th showed images which suggest a date of September 22nd on the autumn equinox. One showed steps from a Mayan pyramid, while the other showed symbols from a Mayan lunar calendar. A crop picture at Longwood Road on August 5th showed seven triangles of shadow and light, as will be seen at the Pyramid of Kukla Khan and Chichen Itza on September 22nd in the late afternoon. Here is that crop circle on Longwood Road, showing the seven triangles, which correspond exactly to the pyramid at Chichen Itza. So that is very interesting. It says, since Mexico is six hours in time behind England, the date and time deduced from the new crop puzzle at Hackman Hill would fit into the established hypothesis quite nicely. September 22nd at midnight in England will equal September 22nd during the late afternoon in Chichen Itza, when a metaphorical feathered serpent will descend from the sky to the earth on this pyramid. This 6x6x6 six by six by six cube puzzle could code for longer periods of time as well. For example, 
6 times 20 equals 120 days, until December 23rd, 2012, end of the Mayan long count calendar. Or, 6 times 36 equals 216 days until March 29th, 2013, just after a superior conjunction of Venus with our Sun. Still, its primary coding seems to be for 20 times the square root of 2, 28 days until the autumn equinox. Now, you might think, uh, going back here a second, December 23rd, the end of the Mayan long count calendar, you think it's December 21st? Well, I told you in my 813 video that the Mayan calendar did not start on August 11th. It started on August 13th, the Venus uh, correlation so that brings the end of the long count calendar to December 23rd, 2012. This website got it right. I like that. So, did we get this knowledge of this crop circle from the same people who gave us the Mayan calendar? Uh, the mathematics are telling me that it just might be so. I found this very interesting. I think it's too big of a coincidence. Uh, maybe this crop circle was shown just to say, hey, pay attention. We left you guys with a message a long time ago and you're not paying enough attention to it. Uh, I think you better pay attention. Maybe that's the meaning of this crop circle. Who knows? Leave your comments if you have a better idea. Thought this was interesting. Have a nice day.